Okay, so a lot of you have also asked me about Christine Drazen and why I'm not voting for her for governor of Oregon. Everybody keeps saying, vote red, vote red. But the truth of the matter is, uh, you know what, in a perfect world, um, we would actually have a really good uh, Republican candidate for governor, but we don't. Christine Drazen is a super rhino. She has been best friends with Kate Brown for the last uh, nine years, um, and basically supporting Kate Brown on everything that she has voted for, uh, since she, that since Christine, uh, Drazen got on the scene. So I'm going to show you this, um, and why I am not voting for Christine Drazen for governor of Oregon. She is a super rhino, uh, you know, why vote for another communist, um, just because she's red, you don't have to vote for her. Come on, dudes. Use your conscience. Use your heart. Use the Constitution. Like, George Washington would be rolling over in his grave right now if he knew how many Republicans are actually going to vote for this tool. So, you go to www.therealdrazen.com. Click on that. Okay. Discover Drazen. This is what you're going to look at. Okay. This is what you're going to see. Take screenshots if you want to. And then you scroll down. This is what they don't want you to know. Okay, Christine Drazen. She says, this is her own quotes. I will support law enforcement, the overwhelming majority of whom do their job with courage and distinction. And I will increase funding for states. Yeah, that doesn't sound monologued, right? Here's the problem. Christine Drazen voted to, to expose our police to doxing by masked uh, anonymous and Tifa writers. Okay. They also, um, voted to protect Antifa and Black Lives Matter rioters, uh, from being prosecuted for their crimes, uh, in Portland and around the state. Um, okay. So this is what she voted for house bill 3355. And this is exactly what that's talking about. She voted for this. Okay, so you can go on there and you can read it all the way down. It has everything about the bill. Okay, she voted for that. Just like Kate Brown did. Just like Betsy Johnson did. Just like K Tina Kotek did. Okay, they're all on the same side, guys. I don't know how to stress this enough. Okay, um, you can click on that too. It's basically the same thing um, and just more of the documents above. Okay, she says... And when Portland politicians refuse to stop the nightly riots and bring peace to, to the streets as governor, I will. But she voted to virtually ban the use of riot control devices, meaning also restricting police from doing their job. Our taxpayers' money is paying them to do. Um, so you click on that. It shows you. Here, I'll click on it. Right? House Bill 2928, you read it all down there. The problem is, is that most of you do not read these. You have no idea what's going on behind your back. You have no idea how many bills and, and legislature, uh, you know, uh, paperwork and documents go through without your knowledge and behind your back. And they do it typically in the middle of the night. Um, she says, Christine Drazen says... Under my administration, the days of treating police like criminals and criminals like victims will end. But she voted to ban the publication of rioters and other criminals' mugshots. Check this out. House Bill 3273. She voted for that. Um, you can also check it out on www.smartvote. Um, oh, excuse me. Justfacts.votesmart.org. Okay. I'm going to go down here. Um... Here we go. In a funding raising, in a fundraising email, Drazen sent out. Drazen responded, criticized to ask for the, this vote. In her email, she claimed, "I voted alongside every Republican in the House Senate to provide unprivileged girls with phone and products." Uh, excuse me, but a warped and radical progressive agenda, spearheaded by Kate Brown and Tina Kotek then turned around and put feminine products in the boys' bathroom. So she's trying to pass a buck. But this is a lie. The bill Drazen voted for was B-engrossed version 
which contained the language putting tampons in little boys' bathrooms. Okay, so it shows you, here's the complete history for this vote. It shows you where um, she voted for it. You click on it, it has everything on there. Okay, Oregon State Legislature, this is all legit. Um, there's the website right up here. Go on that and you just click on it. You read it. Educate yourself, people. Okay. Um, Christine Drazen knows what she's doing. Um... She's lying to you. She says, here we go. Christine says she will continue to challenge the status quo in Salem to fight for what is best for working families and restore common sense to our state capital. But Drazen voted to change the state song because, because it included the words free men into it. Drazen also voted to ban Columbus Day. She also voted for a racist bill that funded only black-owned businesses. Okay, you click on that. You read it. Educate yourself. Um... Huh. Christine Drazen says we will be done with mass mandates. We'll be done with vaccine mandates. But she has been endorsed by big pharma like Pfizer and all that stuff. Look, you go to here, Secretary of State of Oregon. This is legitimate right there. And it shows you everything contributor, payee, all these people and companies right here have endorsed and sent money to Christine Drazen. And you can go on there and you can look uh, to see who's uh, who's done that. And it's on there. Big Pharma is on there and other really radical left uh, woke um, businesses have contributed to her. It's completely legit. Okay. Right there. Just look it up for yourself, right? Um, including, I want to mention that a anti-gun journal has endorsed Christine Drazen because she's not really for the Second Amendment. Okay. All right. Here we go. Growing up in rural Southern Oregon, her family was hit hard by the decline of state's timber industry and natural resource. But Christine Drazen voted to add to the skyrocketing energy cost. She voted to ban offshore drilling for American oil. She voted to ban fracking. She voted to restrict oil transportation through Oregon. So, like, what she's saying is completely opposite of what she's doing. And you guys have to educate yourself. Okay, and the other website I was telling you about, you go to www.justfacts.votesmart.com. You can go up and put any um, candidate up there uh, to check out their voting records. Um, so we're going to put in Christine Drazen. spell it right I need more coffee this morning okay Christine Drazen governor challenger Republican right okay so this is what we're doing All right so you go down here positions Mm -hmm. No, thank you. Okay, so this will pop up when you go to positions. See, the folder's open. Okay, right? So you can track this politician if you want to. Okay. So this is the issue, is that all the other issues that Oregon is worried about, the Oregonians are worried about, asking those questions, like she's not answering them at all and neither is, are the other contenders it's stupid it's crazy so um what you do okay it should be down here right here ask questions okay so you go in here Hold on a second. 
Okay, so after you check that out, okay, you go up here and you click on votes. Okay, it's show her voting record, right? So you can click on this and put an issue. Okay, Christine Drazen, here's the issues. Let's say abortion. Okay, for you Christians. All right, or anybody that's not a Christian but supports pro-life. Okay, you got to look up. Oh, wait a minute. What? Wait, what do you mean? Like, we don't have any Q votes for this candidate. You know why? Because when asked this, you know what she said? That she said that she is going to support any laws that, uh, in Oregon that are already there for this issue. And she's going to support Oregon law. Meaning she does not care uh, about uh, the murder of little babies. So she is in favor of uh abortions she can say all she wants on pro life but you know what her voting record is completely different okay her what she says and what she does are two different things okay let's go to she's trying to appease everybody that's what it is she wants to appease everybody um just to get the vote okay look it has all these different things on here everything okay All this, okay? Education. Let's go to education. Ready? Okay. Authority uh, authorizes governments and schools, districts to prohibit guns on capital and state property. Um. She want to know the problem is is that it does it it's restricting people who are qualified to have weapons to protect schools and different other places that should have somebody that's armed there. Um, this is it. This is her stance on uh, education. But the problem is when you go back. And you look at the, the recent voting in the last two years. She voted for the and support the critical race theory and new woke agenda in schools here in Oregon. It's going on right now. Um, so she's not a Republican. She is super rhino, you guys. And if you are a Republican or a patriot or Democrat who's tired of, of garbage and you are trying want to vote for her, um, I'm just letting you know, she is a super rhino. She does not care. She she completely votes for things that, that we do not support. Um, she's not constitutional, and she's just lying to you. Oh, look at that. Current family issues. You know why they have this? Is because she's trying to appease everybody. She won't. She She won't tell you the truth. Because she doesn't want you to know that she's a sleeper cell, radical leftist. And um, unfortunately, uh, if she is elected governor, uh, it's not going to get better for Oregon. She's going to make it like, what's that word? Um, the illusion that it is. But it won't because she is being endorsed by the same people who are, endor or who are endorsing Tina K Kotek and... Betsy Johnson. It's absolutely ridiculous. I don't understand why anybody cannot see this. She's a Nazi, just like all the other candidates that are on the ballot. Okay, so what do we do if, you know, we thought she was the only hope for Oregon? You know, vote red, vote red, right? No. No. Um, in our case, unfortunately, uh, we can't vote red in this state. So what do we do? Well, I'm going to show you what I am doing. As a patriot, as an Oregonian, as an American citizen who loves her country um, and supports the Constitution. Um... 100,000%. I'm going to show you who I'm voting for. You go to www.romerofororegon.com. You go there. 
This is exactly what you'll see. This is Paul Romero. He is running for governor of Oregon. And he's been running uh, for governor for, for many, 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 many months now. Like, a long time. And uh, many of you are going to say, how come I've never heard of him before? You know why? Because the other candidates, including the Secretary of State, have been trying to silence this America First candidate. He is the only candidate that is America First. He is the only candidate that supports the Second Amendment and Constitution as is. So I'm just going to say right now, uh, if you want to keep your guns plain and simple, you need to vote for Paul Romero. I mean, all the other candidates are for stricter gun control or 100% gun control. Paul Romero is the only candidate that supports the Second Amendment and Constitution as is. Uh, meaning you keep your guns <laughs> and your livelihood and your right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. He is a 10-year Navy veteran, and he's taking that oath uh, that he took um, to his grave. He's taking that oath to his very last breath. So, anyways, you, Sue, you get to his website. Um, they've been attacking him maliciously for months, forcing him to become a write-in. Um, he was on the Constitution uh, Party, but unfortunately, the Constitutional Party um, chairs, uh, Jack Brown and Roger Shipman, committed a felony by illegally uh, taking away votes of over 5,000 or more uh, Constitutional Party members in the state of Oregon, taking away our votes, and they voted in themselves Donna Smith, who wasn't even a Constitutional Party member. She was a Republican, but because she wasn't going to win that vote, she switched. And, and way after the deadline, too. But they voted her in illegally, taking away our votes, and I know because I was there, okay, I'm an eyewitness, and so were very, many others. It's filmed, okay? It's videotaped. And, but the Secretary of Oregon, even though she said what they were doing was illegal, sided with them anyways. So she's committing a felony. Just let you know. So you want to check out Paul Romero, go to his website. Like I said, at www.romerofororegon.com. You scroll down. You see all these here. Contact. I'm just going to let you know right now the contact information. That is Paul Romero's personal cell phone number he will answer the phone when you call him and i promise you that he will answer the phone no one else will answer the phone unless it's his wife you know oksana who um you would absolutely love <laughs> talking to as well but i'm gonna say 99.9999 percent uh paul will actually answer his own phone because he's real and he loves people of oregon and he wants to know everyone uh personally so you go down here this is awesome Okay, click on that. Uh, I'm, I'm on here because I want to show you the most important thing right here. Paul's contract with Oregon. So, this is Paul Romero's contract with Oregon. It's his promise to all Oregonians, okay? And we call it his living contract because he's always updating it. Uh, based on the needs of all Oregonians. This is his promise to you guys. This is how we hold him accountable, okay? This is an incredibly uh, one-of-a-kind um, epic uh, promise I've ever seen. Um, and you've never seen anything like it before. Okay. You got to read it. You got to go on there and read it. You can print it out even if you don't have time to read it on. You can on your, use this on your phone. You know, um, this is his promise on day one. Okay. Take screenshots if you want to. He is against critical race theory. He's against the woke agenda in Oregon. He is going to um, restore individual freedoms and personal privacy by rescinding all masks, testing, and vaccine mandates for all Oregonians, the state employees. Um, he believes it should be the person's choice uh, and not forced at all. Okay? So you just go down and you read this um, contract that he has. It's absolutely incredible. It doesn't take that long to read it. And this man has been fighting tooth and nail for Oregon, for Oregonians to, to share truth about what's going on. Okay. Um, I just, it blows my mind 
that he has been attacked. Like, it's like President Trump being attacked. It's, it's been two years and they're still attacking President Trump. President Trump keeps, you know, pushing forward. They're doing the same thing to Paul because they do not want him to be governor. They don't want an actual patriot to be governor because they want us to be controlled. Um, and another reason why they don't want him to be governor is because they would be in jail. Paul is going to hold the corrupt politicians in Salem accountable for their actions, including Kate Brown. We've already got a constitutional sheriff and a constitutional um, prosecutor that is ready and willing on the first day to prosecute Kate Brown for the felony she's committed against Oregon and Oregonians. So I just thought I'd throw that in there. You just go, just read it. I mean, he is incredibly smart and loves this country. He raised five children on his own, uh, him and his wife, Oksana. Um, he met her later in life, but he's a hardworking grassroots um, man who has worked his fanny off to support his five children on his own. Um, he was in the Navy for 10 years. Uh, and he just, he absolutely loves this country and this state. And he is doing everything in his power to help free Oregonians from rhinos and Democrats and the radical left that has been plaguing our state. I mean, look at our state. Look at all. We need, look at all the, the garbage. Look at all the garbage that's happening to our state. If we keep electing false, um, false hope in this state. Uh, Oregonian is not, Oregon, Oregon is not going to survive. Okay. It's just the true fact. Um, this is Paul's phone number and he'll answer you. And this is all the other emails that you can email him to get a hold of him. Ask him anything. Ask him the toughest questions you got. I'm telling you what, this guy does not shy away at all from any question. Um, other ways you can check him out are he's on Telegram, YouTube, Rumble, Facebook. He's also on Twitter, um, Instagram, and on Twitch. I think he's on Twitch. Um, but he goes live on Facebook right here um, and on Rumble and YouTube um, every Wednesdays and Sundays at 6 o'clock. And you can interact with him personally, unlike all the other candidates that don't stick around for long. One more thing I wanted to point out before we go to the next thing I want you to educate yourself on is that Paul Romero actually has videotape, emails, and text messages proof of the Secretary of State and her associates. Um... Alma and many other associates that she has there, that she has proof of them admitting to voter fraud and election tampering. I'm telling you, Paul has been spending months trying to expose these guys and no fake news outlets have been trying to, are taking the story. He's been on several different radio shows, but, but, um, it's like he's being silenced. And so he actually has all that proof. So you contact him, you talk to him about it. He will send it all to you. So the next place I want you to go to, I'll show you here in a second, and there's a reason why. And it's another thing that Paul has because he's got proof. Uh, you can ask him about that. It is Okay, hold on. You go to back, okay, and you go, I'm not kidding, you go and type in Oregon Chinese Party, okay? I know I spelled it wrong, spell check, got it, okay? There is an actual Oregon Chinese party in Oregon, uh, which is communist because, okay, here we go. Okay, Oregon China Council, go right there, click on it. So when you click on it, 
look, when you click on it, look at that. Look what pops up. What? Okay, so what most of you don't know is that China has been buying up property, land, um, mass amounts of land in Oregon. What? Yep, that's right. You heard me. China. Uh, taking our land away from us. Look at it. It's got in your pan. This is linked to also Agenda. Have you ever heard of Agenda 21? That's right. It is now called Agenda 2030. And the reason why I'm bringing this up, and Paul Romero has this uh, information for you, if you want to contact him, is that Tina Kotek, Christine Drazen, Betsy Johnson all support the Oregon Chinese Communist Party. They all support this. They also support Agenda 2030. Yeah, you heard me. Interesting, huh? So you can go on here. They've got a mission. Why is there an Oregon Chinese Communist Party? I really don't know why this is being allowed to happen. Oh, look at that. Our communist governor. I can't wait to see her behind bars. So I just, I just mentioned Agenda 2030, okay? Tina Kotek, Christine Drazen, yep, super rhino, and Betsy Johnson all support Agenda 2030. Also says on their websites, Paul Romero has that information. Contact him, please, and he will send that to you, okay? So you go in, type in Agenda 2030, right? What is that? The truth, What what is that, okay? So if you know anything about Agenda 2030, uh, 21. There we go. We're going to click on that. Okay. This is in support. Okay. You go in here. Excuse me. Okay. We live in a world of misinformation. It's hard to sort out fact from fiction, even more when the facts are distorted. With information coming our way day and night, we've got to decipher the truth. Once we have the actual facts, it is up to each of us to determine how it affects us and the world. Agenda 2030, the central United Nations platform for sustainable development, is a perfect case in point. It contains 17 goals that 193 member, uh, member states, including the U.S., pledged to ensure. It is a convoluted, worldly document uh, that focuses on the idea of a global partnership. <gasps> Wait a minute. Relating to global human rights, poverty, and information. What do you mean? Okay, so in a whole, this is talking about a one world government. Okay. This is a one world government. One government controls the whole world. And, and one di and one big dictatorship. Okay, yes. I'm going to say it again. Okay. Tina Kotek, Christine Drazen, and Betsy Johnson all support Agenda 2030, including Kate Brown. Obviously, Paul Romero does not. Okay. It sounds good, right? End poverty and hunger for all to protect the planet, right? All that. Right. I'm just going to say, I'm just going to, oh my gosh, I'm just going to say it out loud. Our stores are completely packed with food that can end world hunger within hours okay so don't give me that garbage okay about wanting to end world hunger it's like they but the, the problem is is that everything in the stores costs money if we stop being a greedy civilization and started giving food to people who need it we would end world hunger okay it's that's just the facts of it okay but unfortunately they like the control and they like the money and so that's never gonna happen it goes through everything. You can read it and stuff. This supports a one world order. Huh. Where have we heard that before? Okay. I'm going to, I'm a Christian. And if you're not a Christian, uh, this is something maybe you should start paying attention to. In the Bible, it talks about before Jesus comes back, that there's going to be a one world government. Huh. Wait, what? What do you mean? Like that's real? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's real. Okay. Um, and it talks about how the Antichrist will rise from this one world government. Antichrist, yeah, the dude that's going to be possessed by Satan himself to deceive the whole world. Okay, this is coming up, guys. This is real. 
Okay. And all the ca candidates that are on the ballot in Oregon this year support this agenda. The only one that doesn't is Paul Romero. And he, you have to write him in. If you guys want Oregon to stay free, if you want to keep your rights, if you want to keep your guns, if you want to protect your children, you've got to. You want homelessness uh, and mental health to be actually uh, helped and, and taken care of and getting people off the streets and getting rid of the drug problem and getting rid of all the illegal immigrants that are here in the state using our tax money to fund their... Uh, new life here legally you got to vote for paul romero guys this is real stop being lazy stop being ignorant by not researching this stuff this is why i'm making this video for everyone this is real stuff um and it's happening and like it's i mean it was in the bible jesus talked about this two thousand years ago when his disciples asked him when he was going to return and, like, this is all here. So, I wanted to make this quick video. I know it's, like, over 30 minutes long. But, if, you know, if I had the time, I would go into every single itty-bitty detail about it. But this is what I'm showing you, so you can go into it. If you have enough time to go to the bathroom and play a game on your phone as you're sitting there going pee for 5 minutes or 10 minutes or whatever, however long... Turn the boob tube off, go to your computer, or even just turn your phone off. Go to your computer or use your phone to do this and look this stuff up. Educate yourself because you know what? If the election doesn't go the way that you want it to, or you voted for a candidate who promised to do what they said they were going to do, like Christine Drazen, but don't. Oh, you mean like Biden? <laughs> okay, um then you're going to be really disappointed. You're going to be, that's your problem. Honestly, I'm just going to say, I'm not trying to be rude. That's your problem that you didn't take this seriously, that you didn't study it yourself. Um, ignorance is not bliss. Ignorance is stupidity. That's exactly what it is. So anyways, uh, it's just the facts, people. And it's the reason why this country is in deep doggy doo doo the way that it is. Because people have been ignorant. People have been asleep. Um, people have not been taking this seriously. And my prayer is for everybody to rise up. And, and take this seriously. And fight to get your country back. Because if you don't. Um, we're not going to have an America left. So. Go check out Paul's website. Don't be scared to vote. Of write in to win for governor it's it's happened before most recently in alaska um at least you're conscious it will be clear uh you did the right thing no he's not splitting the vote vote and most of you don't even know what that means if you're going to accuse him of going splitting the vote what do you think betsy johnson is doing okay she claims to be an independent but she was actually a democrat okay and so because she didn't win the nominee she switched to independent and is not, oh, uh, independent, but she's a sleeper cell Democrat, just like Christine Drazen. Anyways, um, write in Paul Romero for Oregon governor. Um, we can do this, guys. Um, educate yourself. Call Paul and talk to him. He will talk to you, I promise. You won't get a you won't get a robot. You won't get a assistant. Oh, she doesn't. She she does she doesn't talk to people. I get your question here, and and then I ask her, and then we'll send you an email. You don't get any of that garbage. Okay, you get Paul Romero, the man, the myth, the legend yourself. Um, on the phone, and he will send you everything that it is that you ask for. Um, about everything, so. Um, vote for Paul Romero, the only America First candidate for governor of Oregon. Um, and uh, let's just make Oregon great again, guys. I'm so tired of this. I don't know if you're tired. Of, I, I, don't, I don't know what's going to take for you guys to wake up. But I'm ready for, for Oregon to, to be free again and, uh, and to prosper. And the way we do that is to write in Paul Romero for Oregon governor.
If you have any questions, please ask me. More importantly, if you have questions, call and ask Paul Romero. God bless.